Good day ladies and gents, welcome to the short introductory video. We're going to be giving an overview of our upcoming Fundamentals of Fire Safety Engineering course. We're running from Stellenbosch University and we hope this course is going to be significant benefit in providing very strong technical input into fire engineering design in South Africa and beyond. So some key dates, this is or key details, 15th to 19th of August 2022 being uh, held face to face in Cape Town, South Africa. The venue is Ignis Testing. Um, Ristal in Saxonburg and this will allow us to be at a facility where you can observe tests um, we can make some smoke see some demonstrations now the course options there's either a five-day CPD course and there's also a university course with assignments tutorials exams and pre-reading I'll go through that later and so attendance is limited so please register early so the speakers we have um, arranged some expert speakers from around the world we have dr. Noah Ryder from the USA he is with fire and risk Alliance and he's also an adjunct member at University of Maryland University of Waterloo he is a specialist in fire and explosions having worked on some of the largest nuclear um, energy storage um, and well, battery facilities in the world then we also have Mr. John Iverson I'm going to allow him to introduce himself now hello my name is John Iverson I'm a fire protection engineer based in Canada I graduated in the UK at the University of Edinburgh many years ago and I practiced as a fire protection consultant in Vancouver primarily uh, with a spell in the UK, Middle East and other countries. So uh, I'm also a past uh, adjunct professor at the University of British Columbia. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you all in South Africa and very much look, look forward to the actual uh, presentations from, from uh, both the professors there and the group. So uh, it should be a great course. All the best. See you soon. In addition to that, we also have our Stellenbosch University team, myself, Richard Walls, a, a postdoctoral researcher, Dr. Natalia Flores Quiros. She is a, a practicing fire engineer from Chile who has also done her master's at Ghent in fire safety, and Dr. Antonio Ciccione. He is an adjunct faculty member here, and then also a consulting engineer with Ciccione Fire and Structures. Now, the topics we're going to be covering uh, go through a whole range of, of topics. So we are going to be really laying the foundations for becoming and being a fire engineer. So the aim of this is this would be a first course in fire safety to really look at a solid theoretical um, background and then application to all the topics listed here. And the focus will be on understanding these concepts and principles, not specifically on codes and thus save the code, but more performance-based design and where do we get these details from and how do we apply them. So we'll first look at introduction to fire safety, then material characteristics in fire, passive protection, looking at how do we ensure compartmentation and structural safety. Then the focus will be on the next topics, fire detection and communication systems. How do we design detection systems and then communicate with other systems? How do we um, deal with smoke and smoke management? So look at sm um, smoke flows and behavior, the theory, and then going on to smoke management. Looking then after that to suppression systems with basic hydraulics, sprinkler design, and other suppression options available. Then we move on to evacuation and human behavior and fire, seeing now how do we go about designing for human movement and how do we calculate our required and available safe evacuation times and what influences those. Then we're looking at hazard and risk analysis, so identifying and quantifying those, and then finally putting it all together in performance-based design, which we also refer to as rational design. So we will have uh, the, the, the uh, course at a test facility so you'll also be able to get into a fire lab and witness some tests being done whether it's on fire resistance tests as you see on the screen or otherwise cone calorimeter so there's a material test single burning items etc so it's very important for fire engineers and fire professionals to get exposed to tests and to, to be able to understand them so as I said it's a five-day CPD you attend and then we provide notes lunch refreshment lab visits and workshop or you can do it as a university course so this is CPD course with associated assignments exams reading etc this is run at master's level so you need an accredited bachelor's in engineering degree um, or a BTEC with an average above 65 percent and these are accredited engineering degrees or equivalent to international degrees and it is run as a short course it will be extra accredited 
It's not going to be easy. I'm not pretending that this will be a walk in the park. It's 150 hours equivalent um, uh, of work. So you'll be going through quite a bit of content and then carrying out designs in this. But this will be a very useful basis for developing professionally. And then also you can do the exact thing. But if you are currently registered as a master's student, you can register for the course as an NQF9 course. Uh, just contact our offices to arrange because the registration process is diff different. Okay, so there is the, the facility on the eastern side, so it's outside the crazy traffic belt of um, the city centre, and it's about 10 k's as the crow flies from the airport. So if you want to register for the CPD course or the university course, either see the link in the comments section of the YouTube video, or otherwise refer to our group course brochures. If you would like your company to network with um, the delegates at this course, we have networking options where you can set up a stall and then network with the people. So please be in touch. There'll be exciting opportunities for promoting your company. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.